CFOP is the most popular method among speedcubers worldwide, and there are several reasons to that. In this video, I'll be going over what I think are the 5 main ways that CFOP is just better. Do keep in mind, throughout this video, I'll be mostly comparing CFOP to the second most famous method being Rue. <laughs> The biggest difference between CFOP and Rue is that CFOP relies on algs very heavily. Now, at hindsight, this may seem like a very bad thing. You have to remember more algorithms, but this allows for CFOP to achieve way higher TPS compared to methods such as Rue. With enough practice and very good look ahead, top cubers like Rehang and Max Park can move their hands faster than the fucking Flash and turn out about 10 TPS, which is just completely crazy. And I'm pretty sure Rehang got like a 14 TPS solve or something. Like, Jesus, look at that fucking thing, man. Leave some girl for the rest of us. Ooh, yeah. CFOP's layer by layer approach makes it very well suited for solving larger cubes such as 6x6 and 7x7. By not having to use a bunch of fancy and complex finger tricks, CFOP allows you to solve really smoothly. Especially now that there is the whole Yao trend on bigger cubes, you literally already have your done, which pairs perfectly with CFOP. Yeah. Block building is hard, especially in an official competition only having 15 seconds of inspection. On top of that, you got competition nerves, distractions, scramble cover falling over and hitting you in the head, blah blah blah. All of that makes it really hard to build efficient blocks in a tense situation. I have mentioned this before in a previous video, CFOP inspection is rather simple. You really only need to find 4 cross pieces and then maybe a pair or so, then execute. If you do not lack in skill issue, this whole process could be done before the judge even says, eight seconds. Ooh, yeah. CFOP is old as f It could very well be older than your grandmother. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Because of that, there are a lot of resources available for learning and improving. The numerous interesting FDL concepts and also a bunch of last layer algs, you will pretty much never run out of new things to learn. The only thing stopping you from improving is you being a lazy little f bitch. That's me. I just described myself. I haven't improved my 3x3 times for Wait, two wow. years. Ooh, yeah. Now, that little AI-generated subtitle of enhanced look-ahead opportunities really just means easier look-ahead. CFOP provides improved look-ahead capabilities. Now, if you're new and you don't know what looking ahead is, look-ahead refers to the ability to anticipate and plan future moves while executing the current set of moves. Once again, CFOP's layer by layer approach allows you to look ahead way easier compared to Ru. In Ru, you have the M layer opened up. This is just a complete double edged sword. On one hand, it allows complex F2 all pairs to be solved in very few moves. On the other hand, you have two edge pieces stuck on the bottom of the M layer, which are both just extremely difficult to look ahead into. In CFOP, you don't have that problem. Everything is either on the left the right or on the top side. You don't have to worry about another fourth dimensional fucking bean on the bottom or something, man. Now, as a quick conclusion slash wrap up, CFOP allows a range of advantages that makes it a very, very great method compared to Rue. But that does not mean it's perfect. Stay tuned for five ways Rue is just better if I am not being a lazy little fucker and actually start working on more videos again. Yeah, bye bye.